If you have a Henry with a high and low switch, getting rid of the faulty circuit board may bring him back to life. If you have another model, or if you're not sure of your power loss issue, please see my other video, it's on the description, and that will help you diagnose and fix any Henry. On with the bypass. You've undone all the screws underneath Henry. We're gonna take out the circuit board, I'm going to take out the high and low switch and all the wires that go to them. So we're going to be left with the blue and the brown bringing the power in and the two white wires from the motor. You're going to connect them up to the power switch, two white ones on one end, the blue and the brown on the other end. Hey presto, bypass complete. Now if you turn your vacuum on, you'll have power again, if the circuit board was to blame. Obviously now what you're left with is the high and low switch which you need to fill the gap with or well, that's not going to be doing anything so you're going to be running on full power all the time. Now anyone familiar with newer models of Henry will know that they have a power indicator where the high and low switch used to be. Now I'm going to show you how to install one of these. They're available on the link in the description and they're really simple to fit. It just finishes the job off nicely. First step is to take two wires from the circuit board, it doesn't matter what colour they are, and we're going to chop the ends off. On the ends that we've chopped off, we're going to put the two piggyback connectors that you get with the LED. You'll see why in a minute. We're going to simply crimp them on, or I'm just going to use pliers just for those of you that haven't got a crimper, just to see how you might get on with more basic tools. And we need to connect the power switch to the motor as we had it before, so on the end two connectors. Then we're going to connect these two wires that we've made with the normal connectors on the end to the power switch. The end where we put the piggyback connectors, we're going to connect that to the LED and then the power that's coming in goes on to those connectors too. So now what you have is a lovely finished job where you've got a Henry running on full power, more reliable, You've got a little indicator light that tells you when the power is on at the mains and then just a simple switch to turn it on and off. Please subscribe to my channel. You never know when you may need me again. Also, I have a great video here how to get your suction back up to new.